Welcome to 10th lesson of CorePy. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the LCD module. What is the LCD module? LCD module is the module in the center of our CorePy that allows us to write text in two rows. Up to 14 characters per row. That's a lot of text you can write. Every time we write something, we can delete it and write again. There is also a cursor function that we can show where our cursor is located at the current situation. The LCD module using I2C, it doesn't use the normal GPIO that we use in other lessons as well. It's a bit different, but very easy, trust me. How easy it is? Let's go to our copy and take a look. Hi, we're back into our copy. Now let's take a look at the module we're going to use now. We're going to use the LCD module. It's right here. Don't confuse with the segment, the matrix, the LCD, or the current LCD display we have right here. Those are completely different. The LCD module also uses a way to show information like the matrix or the segment, but it uses two lines to show this kind of information we want. We can print anything on it, delete, and print again. It uses a backlight to show the actual thing we're gonna see by using light. So, how we are going to work it out? Let's go into our code and see. We open the crowpy folder. Inside the crowpy folder, there should be a file called lcd.py. Let's open it with our IDE and take a look line by line how does it work. A very important thing to mention is that our IDE only support Python 3, but not all of our CrowPy scripts support Python 3 by now. For example, the LCD module only supports Python 2, but we promise you we are working hard on upgrading the script from Python 2 to Python 3. In order to execute the script, we will use the terminal later on. Now, let's go one by one and try to understand how does it work before we executing it. First thing, we import the time, and then we import the Adafruit char LCD as LCD library to control the LCD display. Then we set the columns 16 and the rows 2. As we know, the LCD have two rows, which means we can write one line and another line. And the columns are 16, which means we can use up to 16 characters per row to write data. Then we set the LCD module and address 21. As we know, we use I2C, we don't use GPIO for our LCD module. Now we run try and accept till the end, and it will keep repeating it till we quit. Then, actually, it doesn't keep repeating it till quit, it will keep repeating it until the end of the program, as we don't have a while loop right here. Now, let's take a look line by line and try to understand how does it work. First, we set up the backlight to zero, which means to turn it on. Then we print the message, hello world, which should print it. Then we sleep, then we clear the LCD, show the cursor, and write show cursor. Now, this, is, this script actually shows multiple functions of the LCD all in once. We can show blinking cursor and blink true. We set the blinking to true so it will blink to us. And then we can disable cursor and blink false to disable the cursor completely. Uh, we can do scrolling effect by using a for loop in range of the columns and the rows and to show the information. We can turn it on and off the backlight to make it flick effect and so on. We can go line by line and try to understand really how each function works to create your own functions and your own program. It's very necessarily. Now, let's see. At the end of it, after the whole program, it will automatically close and shut down the background. But if we click Control C or Control Z during the program, we will clear the screen and set the backlight to 1, which means turn it off. It's very important because if we don't turn off the backlight, maybe the LCD screen will be empty, but still it will show us the light behind it. Okay, now how are we going to make the script work? As I said, we cannot execute it right here because we use Python 3. For example, if we try, we will get an error because the library doesn't support Python 3 yet. Now, let's go and open terminal. Inside terminal, we want to go into our desktop. So we will do CD desktop. We explained this method in our lessons and we will use it right now as well. Now, inside the desktop, we, all, we have our crowpy folder. So we will CD crowpy. Inside the crowpy folder, we have, as we said, the file called lcd.py. If you don't remember the name, you can do the command ls and get the full names of the files and find it right here, lcd.py. Now, let's write the function python, the command python lcd.py to run the script. 
As you can see, it will start the whole initialization. At the beginning, it will show hello world. Then it will say show cursor. Then it will disable the cursor and blink it, as you can see right here. And at the end, it will scroll from left to right, as we can see right here. It will continue all the functions until the script will finish, and then it will quit it automatically. We can't wait to see what you're going to do with this kind of information and how you're going to use the LCD for your own project. We're looking forward to see you in our next lesson.